myself like a doctor. And I don't mean looks like a doctor or sound like a doctor, nothing of this. Sell like a doctor, that means, first of all, you never start offering something until you don't hear what exactly is the problem. Now imagine, you enter into the doctor's office, say, good morning, doctor. Doctor say, good morning, I have for you antibiotics that will stop your coughing for, for forever. Then you're like, doctor, but I, I don't have any cough problem. Like, why you are even offering me this, your, even if it is the best antibiotics, okay? Same problem so many mechanics do when he see the customer straight away he say i have this product it is cleans it is do this do this he don't even hear if the person even have car if he have combustion engine car and if he even needs something maybe he just enter to the office to ask where it is a pharmacy <laughs> right maybe he don't even need anything from the mechanic but mechanic straight away oh we have this product okay then now let me explain you there is a all big sign around sales and also another sign how to sell like a doctor but let me give you some just three simple steps then based on your questions i'll be telling you more deeper because based on your questions i will understand what you really how far we get okay now we always when we meet the potential customer we listen what exactly is the problem and if he even have one then we ask additional questions how long time he is already experiencing that then we ask what he already done for example what medicine you already take what solutions you already get have you done any diagnostics? So what is the diagnostic report? After the diagnostic report, what you have done already? Because maybe he have done already, I'd say, turbocharger. If he just tell you, I need turbo, and you give him turbo, you will push him into the problem. Because the problem, why turbo get damaged? You didn't find out but when you ask him so how many you change already he say five you understand this is very serious red flag that means the car have a problem why this particular car is keep consuming turbochargers this is where you stop everything everything on the handbrake and say now i need at least three those turbos bring it to me and bring me really those what is from your car not from the toolbox then those turbos will tell you the story why they keep dying and then you see if the symptoms are or all of them is the same or is different or what okay so then this is another we first is we listen second is we ask additional questions to understand deeply understand and the third, most important, never sell anything if you don't see where exactly you can help to the person, if the demand don't meet your offer. You have something, let's say, additive, but his car is brand new. He just passed by to find out what you think about this car. You don't sell him additive to clean his injectors, to clean his DPF. There nothing need to be clean yet. They need to be clean when they are what? Dirty. They need to be, something need to be done when there is a problem. If there is not problem, we don't sell anything. Don't be desperate for selling. No one want to be sold, but we all want to buy, right? How you feel when somebody by force sell you something? Oh, don't worry, you, you take, you take. You remember him. 
but not in the good way, right? Yes. So then, always when you are meeting your potential client, think how you want to be remembered. Okay, think of it. I will not tell you ABC, but how you want to be remembered. Listen to the joke. One macho enter into the doctor's office, say, doctor, watch this. Doctor say, so, mm, what is the complaint? And start thinking about what medicine. You say, doctor, why complain? Just proud of my body. <laughs> Actually, you shouldn't try to do something like call sell, okay? That who need water, that who is thirsty, and you have water, he will naturally buy from you. That who don't have this need, pushy selling is really worst what you can do, really, in life, in generally, whatever. In in somehow, I don't even believe to sales if the need is not in the person's mind already. Good example is that try to sell Bible to the Muslim person. Right? There is a way how you can still sell it to him. But again, we are coming back to the you will be remembered. How? Next question. How you want to be remembered? Right? So then don't sell if there is no need for your product, whatever is that. Okay?